Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Kingdom Chapter 815. All right. We finally got a good translation. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right. So we're riding off into battle. The, you know, the big war with uh, Shinte will finally begin. Let's see where it goes from here. We got Shin here. Attention, or the attention to the other states. Okay. Kanyu, royal capital of Ken. Report, the 160,000 men of General To's army and the Haishin unit have departed from Nanyu. Similarly, the Han army has also left Shinte. Their numbers are also 160,000. However, there are many reports of, the or the, of troops departing from the castles around Shinte. What? It is believed that the num or the total number of reinforcements is around 30,000. For a total of 190,000 Han soldiers, they're probably marching towards the Ite Plains west of Shinte. It uh, seems uh, where the battle will take place. In the Ite Plains, 160,000 against 190. It, it wasn't in our calculations that the Han army would increase even more. Not like this. This is top. Top. What? Okay. You say he has joined the conversation. The time has come, right? Yes. I'm counting on you, Toe. <clears throat> hmm. And with you too, Shen. Looking at the tiles that represent them. Okay. In way. I don't remember us ever learning its capital. Dairyu. The Han army under the command of uh, Roku Ah. Uh, or uh, his name. I just never even knew. Khan. It's just Khan now. <laughs> and uh, Hakuo Koku will attempt to intercept the Ken army, which is advancing towards Shinte. The royal capital army of Shinte consists of 160,000. They will be supported by reinforcements from several castles, which are marching towards the Ite Plains. Which means their army strength is around 190,000. Why do we have to reiterate this shit every fucking country? <laughs> it seems like they're about to start battle against the Kin's 160,000 army. Or soldiers. There are fewer reinforcements than we expected. It's not many. I didn't expect Han to send as large an army from its capital. Now, in a certain sense, the fate of the state is at stake. I wonder what the outcome will be. I believe in a uh, crushing victory for the Han army. <clears throat> so we got strate strategist Hari and Chancellor Gekka Ko. All right. Ah, what makes you believe that? There are differences in the composition of the armies. Oh yes, because of the untrained Ken soldiers? Unlike Han, who sent elite soldiers from the capital, the Ken army is composed of newly recruited soldiers. There is no doubt that they have been training their new forces for the past six months. But that will not be enough to raise them to that level. There is no comparison between the Kin army and the Han army. What do you think, General? Ah, Gohome. I recognize that woven hairstyle. This is a clear difference between the armies. A crushing victory for Han is mentioned by the Chancellor. Would certainly be the best outcome for Wei, but... I don't think that Toe of the Six Great Generals and Rishin of the Haishin Unit can be defeated so easily. <laughs> Considering you had to fight Shin, yeah, you, you should know. What if the situation gets uh, complicated by Han? It's hard to say, honestly. Rokuakan's strength is unknown, surely. All we know is that... To prevent the Wei army from heading towards the Han capital, Shinte, they sent 50,000 men from the uh, Ryokyu or ugh, Gyoku Ho, oh, good lord, I'm horrible, I know, uh, who crossed the Yellow River and established themselves at uh, Rokushi. In other words, K 
Ken believes that his... His? Okay. Ken is a person now. Um, 160,000 men will be enough to conquer Han. Exactly. It won't be interesting at all if things continue to go exactly according to Ken's plans. Exactly. Therefore, if the To Army triumphs in the Ite Plains and attacks Shinte, we will attack the To Army after capturing Rokushi. I don't want that to happen. Certainly you don't, old man. Inform Gaimo and be ready to go at any time. Yes, oh god. Oh lord, I don't want to know what that man will do. Ohan of uh, the Gyokoho. Toe and Rishin. If the war agitates to the point that we go to war with Ken, then we will fight a battle of revenge for what happened to Choyu. Yes. Okay, so now we're at the Rokushi Castle, occupied by the Gyokoho. Report, it seems that General Toe's army will soon arrive at the Ite Plains. The Han army has also settled or started to position its forces on the in these plains. They have the advantage of the land in, on their side. What will we do? Banyu, bring uh, Kanju and the others back. Depending on the battle situation, the Wei army might advance sooner than we thought, yes. Over the past six months, the Gyokoho has stationed many troops outside to protect their base along the Yellow River in the Rokushi Castle, occasionally engaging in repelling the Wei forces around them. The time has finally arrived. Yes. Will the Tou army and the Haishin unit really be able to defeat the Han army in the Ite Plains and advance towards Shinte? They might be able to. That's why Go or the Gyokoho uh, remained in enemy territory for more than half a year. Actually, it does make you kind of wonder what their supplies were looking like during that time. Because they're just kind of just there. It doesn't seem like they have a strong supply line. Because it's not in the active part of the war. So, hmm. And I guess the same thing goes for Moten's, you know, army as well. Uh, let's see here. Goto, near the northern border towards Ken and Zhao. Ah, so speaking of Moten. Hmm. My lord, the... Oh god, we're, we're really just repeating everything. I see, this is the defining moment, right? The fact that we received a report yes the same information has already reached Zhao, and it's reached my ears about four times this chapter i'm kind of pissed off um in other words they can come at any time it's a shame to leave you but my troops must advance for or further to the front this will be able to detect the enemies in advance thank you eisen hmm hmm eisen's like I don't wish to leave your side, Master Moten. Uh, hmm. The demeanor and charm of a great general are becoming more and more noticeable. I'm going. Charm? <laughs> Seriously. He thinks you're sexy. I'm still waiting for the day when we find out that Ison is actually a woman. Um, but who knows? I will hold this position firmly, so do it properly, Shen. I like how they all just kind of look at the pieces and rep it's representing Shin. And it's like it's a fairly common theme, this chapter. Bowen Castle. Roboku's Castle. A message from Roboku-sama. If Toe's army is victorious in the Ite Plains, leave as quickly as possible and block their passage. Also send a messenger to Shinte and request ships to cross the Yellow River. Wait, what? Why would you request the ships? You should already have the ships. <clears throat> he says he's... Or no, wait. The Al Okay, never mind. Yeah, that would be for the way side of things. So yeah, I am my brain. Um, let's see. He says he's already in negotiations with Han's Prime Minister Cho. Wow. Amazing, as expected from Roboku's 
seriously are we going are we really going to get involved in another war state's war and shed our blood in the end it's for Zhao. this time i will put an end to ken's dark ambitions okay shun what the what the hell got into you i mean oh, we know what's gotten into him but still it's for him to outright say it well uh, yes that's right okay now at Gian with Roboku and now in Chu the royal capital E or is it E can't tell if that's supposed to be an L or an E but I think it's an I hmm I said L or E that didn't make sense <laughs> but anyway um but yes, uh, so, hmm, not really going to have any <laughs> freaking dialogue from Cho, apparently, or Chu, and then Key's just the same, royal capital of, uh, Rinshi, and then in Yan, uh, their capital city of K at that moment, while all the states of China observe the situation carefully. Actually, how the hell is Key receiving any information at all? Like, my God, they they should be like in the fucking dark at this point because like Han's a little ways from them anyway. So it's like, actually, let me pull up the map. Let's see here, Kingdom World. That is not the map. Where are you, crazy thing? Okay, let's see here. So we got Han. Yeah, it's literally you have to pass through Wei and Zhao to get to Key. So, unless they're directly getting their information from Zhao HQ at that, I don't know how Han or Ki is actually getting any information. Now, Chu actually shares a border, a lot is does way with Han, so those make sense. Zhao, you know, really powerful country, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, we march on. At that moment, while all the states have observed the situation carefully, a hawk flies. Finally, the time has come. The Kin army of 160,000 men and the 190,000 men of the Han army had met on the Itay Plains, the stage of a decisive battle that will define the future of their states. Okay, we got the Haishin unit. We got the Toe army. And there is the tattooed man himself. The first rise, the first to raise the morale of his troops was the Han army. How did you get up on that rock, sir? Supreme commander of the Han army, General Rokuakan. Great General Rokuakan. And now they're just going to say his name a bunch of times. What? Are they going to attack already? Don't panic. They're just boosting the morale of their troops. Huh? Like they didn't already have an advantage. Rokuakan. Listen up, everyone. This is a decisive battle. The survival of the state of Han is at stake. Only your swords will be able to protect your parents, your wives, and your children. Those people with all the spears in the front, you are worthless, I say. Those in the back with your arrows, they will hit like stormtroopers. You are shite. If you have a club, just go home now. Those with the swords, you are our champions. Protect the lives of your families. If you have firmly engraved this order in your hearts and fought with an iron will, Kin will not be able to do anything to us. Han has around, has been around for 170 years. Ah, oh, we will not fall here. 
Each and every one of you damned invaders will be buried deep in this land. Okay. So there is a break next week. All right. That's interesting. Um, so, yeah. Just kind of everyone's getting informed of what's happening. Pretty basic setup chapter for the big battle. Now, we'll see what exactly happens with Han, you know, going forward. Because, like, you know, if the Ite Plains is victorious for, you know, Ken's side, then that's when we're going to have Wei and Zhao just kind of rushing in. So, not ex I'm sure that's going to happen at least on one front or the other, if not both sides. Maybe at different times, though, is what I would assume. Make it more, you know, dramatic, and it'll drag things out a little bit to more interesting effect. Um, instead of it just happening on both sides, and then we just have to split our focus, you know, and that sometimes does not go well in a kingdom arc. Um, but yeah, so you got that going on. We've got the morale boosting of Roku Wakan, and so he's already disrespected everyone that doesn't wield a sword, so screw you, man. Also, you don't wield a sword, so who the hell are you talking to, man? Um, so yeah, that, that interesting. Going to bring them into a fury so that they will protect their loved ones and not lose their lands their livelihoods and their lives um so yeah we'll we'll see how ken you know reciprocates this because presumably they're going to do the same thing and then charge in as well to match that force and that fury so i don't really know what to expect going forward but with the break you know maybe i'll come up with something in the meantime, we'll see. But anyway, uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me yeah, please let me know down below. Links down below for all my socials. I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. And until next time, Keeshlings. Always remember, if you're carrying a sword, you're the good guy. Everyone else can fucking stay home.